Hello YouTube people. Another day I saw a question on Reddit. Which cheap Rolex Daytona homage is better? Pagani design or Parnis? And I do have some experience with both of them. So am I gonna help you? Or am I gonna make things even more complicated? Who knows? Anyway, to cut things short, in my personal opinion, Parnis is a little bit better looking watch. It is a little bit smaller, doesn't have date window. It's it's cleaner watch and it has more tiny shiny details which makes Parnas look a little bit more expensive watch. While Pagan Design is actually technically better watch. So which one is the best? Anyway, my story goes like this. At first I bought Pagan Design with Black Dial and I was blown away how beautiful that watch looks like with those silver chronograph rings. Absolutely wonderful. Next one I bought was completely black one, the one I do not recommend buying because that black coating feels like some kind of a plastic on top of a, a stainless steel. I, I don't know, it's difficult to explain, but it has different feeling and feels cheap. I do not recommend that one. So the next one I bought was the one with the white dial, which I have for over a year now. But on my skinny wrist, this watch kind of looks a little bit too big. And the reason why I avoided Parnas at first is because of water resistance. It only has 30 meters of water resistance. I mean, what kind of a sports watch it is if it doesn't have a proper water resistance. But from my experience, for over a year, I haven't got my Pagani wet. Not, a, not, not even once. So anyway, what, what the hell? So I just bought Parnas with... 30 meters of water resistance because from my experience I just don't need that water resistance for the daily use. So with the ease of mind that I'm not gonna get my watch wet, I started actually enjoying Parnis. And I had Parnis with silver bezel for half of a year now and I wasn't wearing it too much, I was using it only as my fancy watch because I was afraid to scratch this shiny bezel. But after a while I got over myself and started using this shiny bezel watch and I was actually surprised that it doesn't scratch that easily and you don't really see those scratches that much because it's so shiny that it kind of overpowers those scratches. But what I have noticed that all I see is fingerprints on the bezel and, and, and when I wear this watch I just clean it and clean it and it's just super annoying. So eventually I just bought another Parnas but with the black bezel and to be honest, I think the black bezel parnas looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit better balanced with four black rings. While the shiny bezel watch is beautiful, but sometimes I look at it and I kind of wish those chronograph rings were, were silver as well. So always a little bit questioning myself. And with this black bezel parnas, I just don't have any questions like this. It just looks wonderful. And speaking about the size, it's not so easy to measure chronographs. So what I do, I actually measure the bezel. And Parnas is 38.5 millimeters, while Pagan Design is 39.5 millimeters. Even though Pagan Design is a bigger watch, it actually wears the same as Parnas on my 16.5 centimeter wrist. Why is that? Well, most watches as long as Pagan Design at 47.9 millimeters feel uncomfortable for me, feel too long for me. But Pagan Design is only 11.5 millimeters in thickness and has completely flat case back, so it kinda compensates long lug to lug distance with stability on the wrist. While Parnas has opposite problem. <laughs> Parnas is 46.6 millimeters lug to lug distance, which seemingly is perfect for me, but it is 13.2 millimeters in thickness, where it seems like the vast majority of extra thickness comes from the bubbly case back, which makes this watch feel a little bit unstable. And in terms of a weight, the watch itself without the bracelet, Pagan Design weighs 61 grams and Parnas 56 grams, which is basically the same. And because of those reasons, Pagan Design and Parnas physically feel the same on my wrist. Uh, bracelets are basically the same because I couldn't tell them apart doing blind tests and visually they look both very good. But clasps, I prefer Parnas because it has easier micro adjustments and it's easier to close and open Parnas clasp. 
while pagan design it's a little bit tricky mechanism and it's very tricky to micro adjust they both have uh, extensions and they both like look beautiful but i personally prefer partners what are conclusions I would say that if your wrist size is smaller than 17 centimeters, go for Parnas because Parnas is going to look a little bit more elegant on you, a little bit more better proportioned. And if your wrist size is bigger than 17 centimeters, uh, Pagani design is a very good choice because it's technically a little bit better watch and on a bigger wrist, it's also going to look elegant and nice. But at the end of the day, Pagani and Parnas, they both are very good watches. I like them both very much. And whichever you choose, you're going to be happy, to be honest. So, yeah, do whatever you want to do. But right now I'm wearing uh, Parnas for the past two weeks. And I'm super happy with this watch. And it's a little bit shinier. And on my, my smaller wrist, it looks a little bit more elegant. So I'm not going to go back to Pagani design. But, you know, it all depends on personal preferences. So anyway... Thank you for watching. I really hope this video was helpful for you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Goodbye.